Well, I tell you one thing that maybe I isn't relevant to me either, but I love watching, like most of us, I love watching rugby, and rugby's the national sport, if not our national religion. And I thought, you know, as I worshipped at the uh, altar of Sky Television on Saturday evening, so nice to have a, a test match that you don't have to get up for, and it's actually at a decent time of the day. And I watched for the first half of that Bledisloe Cup match, uh, All Blacks versus Australia, and I thought, God is back in his heaven. The All Blacks are finally the dominant, unstoppable force that they were throughout my childhood and the early part of my life, that somehow a balance had been restored to the force. And then, of course, we got into the last 20 minutes and that illusion was shattered. And also, I find that, and I didn't watch the game, shame on me, the Argentinians who beat us and, of course, beat the Wallabies, they beat South Africa. Might have been by one point. Um, Which means, I think, statistically, they could win the, the championship. What has happened to the world and will it ever go back the way it was? I thought a good person to talk about that would be former All Black coach Laurie Maines. He joins us by phone now. Laurie, welcome to the platform, mate. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Boy, um, I do feel, and I'll be honest, I've just hit 60, that the world is not the world I grew up in. And I look at that weekend of rugby, international rugby, and I just wonder if we can ever be the force we were, Laurie. Yeah, well, the game has changed, of course, and uh, there's so much referee and TMO interference and that sort of thing now. Uh, you, you don't sort of have the stability in the game that we used to have, uh, you know, with the change in interpretation of the rules and so on. It, and, and the way the game has gone, I mean, they're much, much better athletes playing the game now than the, there was you know, 15 or 20 years ago, mm. uh, because of the sophisticated training they do and so on. So, no, the game will never go back to the way uh. we, we knew it, but it still can be a pretty exciting... I mean, you have to say after Saturday's test, it was an exciting game. Yep, there is we, no doubt we about, about dis- that. We were disappointed because Australia came back, but the other way to look at it, the All Blacks need Australia to be strong, and, and one of the reasons I think, you know, we've been a bit inconsistent over the last few years is that we don't have that rivalry with Australia being so strong ah. as they were going back. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. But are they strong or are we just crappy in the last 20 minutes, Laurie? Oh, look, I, I we were all disappointed. I mean, it was sublime, the the yeah, first yeah. Half, half hour, uh, the, the rugby that the All Blacks played. And it, sh- it shows us that they are capable of playing that sort of rugby. Now, I'd, I would sooner win the way they, they did uh, at the weekend uh, than lose, but also to know that we've got this fantastic rugby in our arsenal. Mm. We just need to tidy up the areas of the game that we're letting it slip away. And uh, I, I'm, I've got no doubts whatsoever that this coaching team will achieve that. Uh, this is like the other way to look at this is that this is a, is is an All Black team that lost five of its best players at the end of last year, and their plus they had injuries in some of those areas like the locks where where they lost those players. Now it's taking a while for the new players to step up, but even more importantly, it's taking a while for the uh, combinations in the team to hold up under extreme pressure, which which you get at, at this level. Now, mm. that's what happened. That's what happened at the weekend. I, I just think of, you know, one try that Australia got off the back of a line-out. Mm. Now, where that player ran through, number seven, he ran through there. Where was our blindside winger? Yeah. Now, this is something, yeah. Now, he would normally pick those up. Now, he, he was up in the line. Yeah. And so we, we didn't have that second line of cover. Now, that is something I just don't think you can afford to yeah. do. Order, at, indeed, at Sam Kane missing that tackle for their second try, and he was just standing way too far off that right. 
Yes, he was. Um, and that's not, look, that's not Sam Kane. He's been one of the best tacklers. Well, it was most then. Tacklers. Yes, it was. <laughs> I know it was, but uh, these are the little things. Sean, you're right. These are the little things that let the opposition back into a game and then suddenly it, it comes mm. back. We did the same thing against South Africa. We were, what I don't know, 14, 17 yeah. points up or something. They got given a try that wasn't a try, but, yeah. you know, the TMO didn't didn't sort that one out for some reason or other. But then the opposition came back into it. Yeah. If you open the door, that these teams are good enough to walk through it. Yeah, and, we, and we don't we agree. don't have that dominance anymore. I'll tell you what. I think the other sort of story I I haven't thought about much. Geez, Argentina, you know. And I can remember back to the days they were literally easy beats. We would run up cricket scores against them. Uh, and here they are. They took down South Africa. They've taken us down this year, in this competition. They've taken the Aussies down, and they're contenders. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and that's great. And they're doing the same thing in the sevens as well. Uh, I, I think that's great. The, the more teams around the world, we, we, we don't want to have just two teams leading world rugby yeah. uh, easily. The more teams like Argentina, like England, if they get back up to the strength that they're capable of, then world rugby is going to be better for it. And, uh, I, you know, it's good, it's good that Argentina are coming back. And, and what it maybe tells you is is that the coaching's got a lot to do with the strength of a team, and I think Argentina must have a, a you know a good coaching group this this year or over yeah. the last couple of years, and they're building up to be a real force, and that that's fantastic. 